what is up everyone welcome to a little i was gonna say day in the life is more like some hours of my life in my life <laughs> let me let you in on a little secret today is genevieve's first day of preschool if you have ever sent a kid to preschool or school in general ever it is one of it's harder i think for the parent than it is for the kid like and she's only doing one day a week like right now just to kind of like ease her into it uh, plus that's all they had available but anyway <laughs> long story short it's been a weird hard day for me mentally so uh i figured i would just film a video i was wanting to vlog this week anyway so i was like let's just do it today i have a list of things i've been wanting to get done around the house there's some old clothes i need to go through and declutter we'll talk about that in a second i've got some groceries to share with you guys just little things here and there that just need to get done and checked off my list so it's going to be kind of a productive vlog well i hope it's going to be <laughs> productive we're going to see started with the freshly made bed that is good so i need some water because i'm crazy thirsty and figure out what my next steps are but i did want to take a second to thank today's video sponsor which is thrive market i'm going to be sharing a bit of groceries i got from them this month you guys know i've been working with them for years i've been ordering from thrive for years and i love it so i'm excited to share that stuff with you guys the good news is that well okay good news bad news a lot of the house is actually pretty tidy, but we still have our Christmas stuff up. That's got to come down soon. But of course, I'm filming this earlier than when you're seeing it. So hopefully by the time you're seeing this video, we have taken our Christmas stuff down. <laughs> but it's still up. And also, the balloon that Miss Genevieve got from Santa is still floating. <laughs> I can't believe it. I'm like, how is it not like sunk down yet? I'm amazed at this darn balloon. But I have started collecting some Christmas stuff that like from other areas of the house that as I put them away, I'm just gonna kind of gather them here in our dining room. But like the kitchen, I feel like is pretty clean. So that's not something I'm too concerned about. I don't need to do dishes. And I actually got a lot of laundry done yesterday. So we're sitting pretty with that, which is why I feel like I actually have the time to do some other stuff today, which is amazing. And now I'm getting photos from the school of her. And it's just so cute to see. And this has been so good for her because like, you know, not for long, but right now she's an only child. But on top of that, she just doesn't spend a lot of time with other kids. And especially with, you know, she got into toddlerhood like at the height of the pandemic. So it's not like playdates were a super popular option. You know what I mean? So anyway, I just feel like this is so good for her socialization wise, but the teacher's so sweet and oh, I'm glad we did it. But again, it's just hard. So it's always exciting seeing these little pictures of her with her new little buddies and playtime and snack time, all of that. It is funny though, she's supposed to have a nap time, you know, cause she is three. That girl doesn't nap. So, <laughs> so obviously they have, I think they, you know, they can just rest and if they can't, they have like a quiet activity they can do too. <laughs> just a funny thought. I'm like, she might actually sleep if she's like forced to lay down. But what's weird is she really doesn't do too badly if she doesn't nap. Like she's not someone that like throws fits throughout the day because she's tired. She's, she does weirdly okay without a nap, but this will be good for her. I don't. Come here, bud. What you doing, buddy boy? You looking outside? He keeps going out and forgetting it's like freaking 20 degrees out. And he's like, crap, 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 I want back in. Do you want to go outside and go potty? So yes. What? One of my favorite things to do, light a candle. I always feel like I'm stingy with candles and I'm like, oh, you know, I don't want to light it. I don't need it lit right now, but I freaking love candles. And I'm like, Jessica, you can always buy another candle. Like enjoy the candle for what it's supposed to do be lit. <laughs> so I wanted to share with you guys what I got from Thrive Market. This order, we ordered a lot of snacks, a lot of like, well, my favorite cereal. I haven't had in a while. I'm excited to have just, it's just like a weird mix of things. So I'm excited to share with you guys. I love doing this. Anyway, as I mentioned earlier, this portion of the video is very kindly sponsored by Thrive Market. Thank you for working with me still in this new year. I am so excited because I've been ordering, we've been ordering from Thrive Market for years. And the reality is we love it because orders over $49 ship for free. We always get to that threshold. Like we just don't place the order until we get to that threshold. So we never pay for shipping. I love that they ship from their zero waste warehouse. They use carbon neutral shipping. And so we feel good about ordering from them. But on top of it, it just has the best prices on a lot of stuff we get every single month. So it's a membership based marketplace, which means you're getting the best prices. They work directly with all of these different organic brands to get the best prices for you. And even if you find it cheaper elsewhere, they will price match it, which I think is really cool. So let's dive into what we got. So hip peas. 
I now have my toddler loving these. She and I will sit and watch an episode of Bluey and like kill a whole bag. Okay, a couple episodes of Bluey. <laughs> but we will kill a whole bag of these together, just she and I. So those are delicious. And you know, they do have, they've got four grams of protein, three grams of fiber. So, you know, in the realm of snack foods, that's awesome. Okay, my favorite cereal, you guys. This stuff, man. This is the Nature's Path Organic Sunrise Crunchy Vanilla. Every time I order one, I just order two. This stuff is expensive at a regular grocery store. And so we save money on it on Thrive and I'm always glad to save money on it. And I'm, I haven't had this in months and I'm so excited to have it again. We will be doing a cereal date in bed this week, I am sure, my husband and I, and that is probably the cereal du jour. <laughs> oh, we got some coffees. We got our normal Thrive Market breakfast blend. We love getting the big bag of coffee from them because for every day, it's really good coffee and it's cost effective. Especially whole bean coffee can get really pricey. But we also got another kind here that I don't think we've tried. It's the Equal Exchange Fairly Traded Coffee. It's their organic love buzz. <laughs> it is a blend of full city and French roast, dark and velvety smooth. So sounds like something we would like. I'm excited to have that. So one thing, I, and I'm gonna unbox the rest here in a sec, but I did wanna share that their offer right now, if you are thinking about joining Thrive Market, is that you get 40% off. <laughs> That's a big offer. 40% off your first order and a free gift. This is, I think, the best offer I've ever seen in all of the time I've worked with them. So if you've been thinking about trying it out, it might be a really good time to try it, especially if you've seen you know, me unbox it for years, you've seen other people. It really is awesome and you really do save a lot of money. So I wanted to mention that earlier on because that is a better deal than I've ever seen. So continuing on, we got this organic protein from the brand Orgain. We love this stuff. We like to just put this vanilla flavored in our green smoothies and it makes them taste so much better, plus you're getting added protein, et cetera. There's some prebiotics in there, fiber. So highly recommend this brand and they have some of the best deals on Thrive for this brand, which is great. So speaking of our smoothies, we always put collagen peptides in them. This is a brand, it's the Thrive brand of it. We've never tried this. And it was a lot cheaper for the same amount than the normal brand that we get. So I was excited to save money on that. Again, this is usually flavorless. And so people will put this in their coffee too. So if you were wanting to try this, you can totally put it in your coffee and you won't taste it, but we usually put it in our smoothies. We run out of like panko breadcrumbs weirdly fast. So I bought some of those. I love to bread chicken in this with some different seasonings and bake it. So this is another thing we run through kind of quickly, brown rice. We've tried this brand before and it was really good. So got another bag of that. And we'll usually just take this and fill our little container of rice with this. Okay, I've been dying to try these. So this is the Good Crisp Company and it's their sour cream and onion potato crisps. We are trying these right now, baby because if they're anything like Pringles, Pringles are definitely like, if I were to pick one chip for the rest of my life, it'd be Pringles. Like that's my road trip snack. I get a little thing of Pringles for myself and I love all of the flavors. Oh my gosh. It smells like that sour cream and onion goodness. Oh my gosh. Oh no. I might have to hide these in my, I don't know where. Where can I hide it? My closet? Mm. Totally forgot I got two. This is this is a good day, so. All right, fine, I don't have to hide it then. I guess I'll share. So I also got some of these Unreal cups. We fell in love with these last time. Wow, these are good. So these are the dark chocolate peanut butter cups. They have crispy quinoa in these, and there's this, it's, it's like the tiniest crisp in there, and it is exactly perfect. If you're a texture person, you will end up loving these. So very excited to have more of those. We keep some, in, like usually we'll have two bags, one of them just like in our pantry and one in our freezer because sometimes they're really good frozen too, you know? But they have other flavors as well. This is just definitely our favorite with that crunch. Oh, what a lucky boy. We are spoiling our doggy, Pinocchio. Do you want one of these treats, buddy boy? So these are great. We've had these before. This is the I and Love and You brand. They're super smarty hearty. They're technically like training treats because they're small, but I mean, I, I don't love getting huge treats all the time because then I'm like, I either need to break it because it's way too big for him. Like he doesn't need that much. So the small ones are just nice, but these, his breath has been stank. I need to ask his vet about it. Like if they can like check in there and make sure everything's okay. <laughs> but in the meantime, I got these, the tooth berry. These are these dental stick dog treats. I got two different kinds. So we'll give those a try too until his appointment, which would be good. And you know, my husband Tyler requested these. They are the Smart Sweets Swedish Fish, like dupes, you know what I mean? Called Sweet Fish. The first time we tried them was, I think the last time I shared about Thrive, I don't know. 
We've bought a lot since then because we've still been placing Thrive orders. We just, I just don't always film about it. He loves these so much, you guys. They are really good though. <laughs> so they have other kinds. And I was like, do you want to try other ones? He's like, no, no, just give me the, the fish ones. <laughs> like, okay. So we got some more of those. Those are really good. And the whole thing is that they're lower in sugar because they're, it says smartly sweetened without sugar alcohols. Good source of fiber because they use allulose instead of sugar. So anyway, I don't understand the science, but they are really good. Oh, I did get some oregano. We needed to refill. We're trying to be better about getting this kind of spice and just refilling the jars we already have instead of continually buying a new jar. So Thrive is great because they do sell a lot of spices. So this has been perfect for that. So we got some oregano and that is everything. Another thing we've been loving about Thrive is that they do have their Thrive Gives initiative where for every paid membership, they give a membership to a family in need. I think that's really cool. But yeah, like I said, I just feel like we save a lot of money on things we're gonna buy anyway and they're really expensive at the store and to be able to save a little bit of money, it makes it totally worth it. So they have two different membership models. They have the monthly one, which is $9.95 a month. Then they have the annual one, which is the one we do every year. It's $59.95. That breaks down to $5 a month. If you know you're gonna place even one order a month, which you will, I'll tell you right now, you will. It's worth it because you save, I'll put on the screen how much I save just in this order alone. You save so much. They have so many different snacks and food on there. They also have like doggy stuff, baby and kids stuff, bath and body stuff, cleaning supplies. Like they have got everything. And another thing I love about it is you can really easily shop the site, searching by different values. So if you eat a keto diet or gluten-free, non-GMO, organic, you can search by those terms. And it just makes it really easy to sort through the things that you actually are wanting and needing. So if you were thinking about joining Thrive Market, I, like I said, we have the annual membership and it's totally, totally worth it for us. I will put the link below. It is thrivemarket.com slash Jessica Braun. And with that, you can get 40% off your first order and a free gift. Like I said earlier, that's the best deal I've seen them offer. So if it's kind of been in your mind, like maybe I'll try it, it might finally be time. It really might. And I really love it too, because I always feel like with that price match guarantee, not only are you saving money and this is way cheaper to get a lot of these on Thrive Market, but on top of that, you know that if you did happen to find some of this stuff elsewhere and it's cheaper, that they'll make it right. So I feel like that's a good company that stands behind what they say. And so, yeah, if you wanna check them out, like I said, the link is below. I just, I have chip on my lip because I can't stop eating those chips, you guys. <laughs> anyway, thank you again, Thrive Market, for sponsoring this portion of the video. Now, it's time to eat. <laughs> Now I need to see if they have other flavors. This sour cream and onion, y'all, I'm not playing with you. You need to try these. I feel like sometimes snacks can be like, you know, ones that claim to be a little bit better for you. Like have that taste that you're like, okay, so it tastes weird though. And it sometimes it does. Mm -mm. These taste really good. <laughs> Next up folks, this is what's left of our nursery because Genevieve moved to her big girl room. So this will, again, be a true nursery for this next baby that's cooking in my stomach. So it sounded weird. <laughs> anyway, so just a little status update. We've got a crib we need to put back together with stickers on it. So lovingly placed there by Miss Genevieve. So that's going to be fun to get off. But like we haven't moved books from Genevieve's room to her new room. You know what I mean? A lot of these, though, like if you look at them, we're talking board books, like those are gonna stay for the baby, but a lot of these bigger ones down here and some of the like little golden books and stuff will go in Genevieve's new room. We ordered a new like corner bookcase for her room just cause the way like the furniture is kind of laid out in there, it makes the most sense. And we got it, I ordered it on Amazon. And actually I think it should be here in a couple of days. And it just looks really cool. Like you could put, I'll pop a picture on the screen here. You can put like little fabric boxes in there if you want, or you could just do books throughout the whole thing, which is probably what we're gonna do. But it looks perfect. Again, we've got books for her to move in there and then that'll free up room in here for other things other than books. Because if I remember right, this is a changing table right here. And if I remember correctly, I think I had a couple of baskets under there. I'll have to go back and look at videos from like four years ago. I think I had baskets with some like toiletry type diapering stuff that we needed under there, so that would free up room for that if I decide to do it that way. But anyway, the good news is we just ended up getting new furniture for her, like a couple of new things, so that I'm sure you're loving seeing like our diaper pail behind me, sorry. I don't know that it matters. 
<laughs> it's okay guys, I'm just overthinking everything. Oh, I wanna show you though. See, I need to do separate videos on this, I know. And I will do more like baby focus videos because I know some of you guys are watching, you're like, I don't care. We'll get to what I'm gonna declutter. But uh, Miss Genevieve picked out these little toys for the baby and she's picked out another thing when we were at Target. So I think I'm gonna wrap them and then Gigi can give them to the baby when she first meets her in a couple months. But I just, I've, I've heard of that being a thing and I'm like, that's really cute. So what I need to declutter is this over here. So all of this is stuff I put away for, you know, what I thought like maybe if we have another baby and I need to go through it and see what we actually have. So that is kind of the goal here. Like for example, I have this Fawn Design diaper bag, absolutely beautiful. This thing is so heavy. Like I cannot do this again to myself. So it is totally empty and I swear to you it weighs so much. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with it honestly. I was like, I might resell it, I don't know. Because I bought it and it's these are not cheap, but I don't think I'm going to use it, but I might hold off. The bag I'm planning on using is this one from Lily Baby. They did send this to me. I guess I should back up. They did send this to me and I really, really, I love it <laughs> so much. Um, so that's definitely what I'm going to be using. It's lighter. That's what's so crazy. Like feeling these side by side, it is much lighter. So that I already know. So the other one I might get rid of. What I really need to look at, cause like a lot of these are larger sizes. Oh my gosh, I just cannot. Look how cute this little thing is. So I need to see what baby, baby items I have because I just don't know. Like, okay, I saved this little like carrier cover. That is really nice to know that I have because I was literally looking at some the other day and I was like thinking about buying it and I'm, and I'm like, I glad I looked. But we have different like sleep sacks. These are the thing, man. These get so expensive. This size is newborn. So I didn't even know I, I had a newborn one of those. So I already know that is gonna be something we will most likely use. But then just seeing what else we have because with the second kid, one thing I'm quickly realizing is that I don't feel, you know, like with the first kid, you make a registry, you're most likely having a baby shower of some kind. With this one, we don't need a lot. So that is really nice, we really don't. So the only things we're buying are to fill in gaps or if there's something better out there that we're like, you know what, that might make my life easier this time around. We've realized what's really important to us and there's just certain things like in a stroller. It's really important that the stroller is really easy to move around. Like that, we're willing to pay a little bit more for because we've learned that that really does make a difference. I am so out of breath. <laughs> anyway, I'm getting off on every tangent possible, but I wanna go through these, kinda get an idea, separate these into size groups so I know what I have. literally keep looking at these and not registering what I just read is the size and then putting it down and then picking it back up to look at it again. I'm like, what am I doing? I think it's because <laughs> these are all bringing up memories. So I'm like thinking about something totally different. It is weird too. And I wonder if you guys can give me some insight on this, no matter where you're at in your like life's journey. Like for me, I feel like with Genevieve, I remember like moments that she wore each of these different outfits. Like I could tell you a story about every single one, which is just bizarre. I'm like, is it gonna be the same with the second baby? Like, will I have, or is it just because that first baby is so, it's just so new and different that you just have a sharper memory of it. Then there's stuff that I just don't remember at all. Some stuff probably for the better that I don't remember really well, like <laughs> labor and delivery. <laughs> I remember it, but you know what I mean? like. I think there's a reason you like forget it. Also, I think you get good at knowing like which brands run small, which brands run bigger, you know, cause like Gerber, LOL, those sizes, the newborn, I mean, it probably will fit a newborn, but they run so small. So like a six month in Gerber is like a freaking three month and everything else. Like they run so small. Look at that. Are you kidding me? Look how cute that is. Anyway, so while I'm doing the rest of this, we can just chat about life. We don't have to talk about babies. Cause I know not all of you guys are like in that mindset and that is totally cool. I definitely understand that. So how are you guys doing with like the new year? Do you feel like you're someone that like sets goals? Do you feel like you're someone that you've tried res resolutions and that kind of stuff in the past and you just like, I'm not good at it. Like I never stick to it. So you just don't even bother. I'm kind of like, I guess I could face you guys. 
I'm kind of in the middle. Like I like to set goals. I did a 2022 like goals video and I like sharing that with you guys because I know when I watch videos like that, it gives me inspiration for just different ways of thinking about things. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I just feel like I can understand both mindsets of like resolutions, like everyone gives up on them. For me lately, anyway, the past few years, it's been more of like, what mindsets am I going to shift? So it's not necessarily always something like I'm going to, you know, start working out again and that kind of thing. It's it. Sometimes it'll be fitness related, but I feel like it's just so much easier to try to, that's a good time to think about ways to like change your mindset on things. So that is kind of the way I've been viewing it the past few years. So if you haven't seen that video, definitely check it out because there are a couple like <laughs> mind blowing realizations I've had. And I really mean mind blowing <laughs> as dramatic as it sounds that I really have just helped me so much in just life, man. I don't know how else to explain it. I have so many different kinds of swaddles. It's hilarious. Makes sense though. Like when you're just trying to get the baby to freaking sleep through the night or to sleep longer than like two hours, you will try. This was our favorite though. This was like, oh yeah, the Embe two-way swaddle. You, she could not get out of this. And when they're small, you know, they're not rolling around. They're just laying there. They don't want, you know, you don't want them to startle themselves awake. And this, I only had one, but it was a game changer. But I'll be curious how this next baby is. You never know. These though, like once she was a little bit bigger, were the bomb. Like these kinds of like blanky sacks, especially the ones that you could put regular PJs on her because they were like a vest, if you will. So she could wear her PJs within it and stay warm, but then also have this like a blanket. That became such a favorite of hers that she was even like two and still wearing a sleep sack. Like she just liked them. I'm also curious to you guys, like what season of life are you in right now? That's something I've been thinking about a lot. We've had someone in our family pass away that, you know, lived in amazing life. So it's just been on my mind a lot, like the seasons of life that you go through. And this doesn't have anything necessarily to do with kids because you might live your whole life and not ever have kids. But just what season of life are you in? Because I just feel like it's amazing how like there are certain things in life that can pull up. Look how short these are. Are you kidding me? <laughs> so cute. It's just amazing to me how different your own life can be from one year to the next, let alone like one decade to the next. Like thinking about, I'm 32, I'll be 33, literally in a couple weeks. Like thinking about that and how myself 10 years ago at 23 was so different than what I'm like now. Even myself at 25, 26, 27. You just learn so much, you grow so much, and it's just kind of crazy if you really think about your own life and your own trajectory. Like take a second and think back. What were you like 10 years ago? I don't care how old you are, maybe you're 70, Maybe you're 40, maybe you're 20. What were you like 10 years ago? Like, I feel like when I was 23, I had gone back to um, college to become a teacher. And so I think I was still in school then for that. And I was two years into dating Tyler. It's just crazy how much life I've already lived between then and now. Like having my first teaching job and then teaching for four years at two different schools and then being vastly different schools. And I think just taking the time to like reflect on how far you really have come, like how much you have learned. If you don't ever take a second to think back to like what you used to be like and what kinds of things you've made it through, it can be really illuminating. It shows you like, whoa, like you might feel stagnant or you might feel stuck, but you've gotten through a lot in your life. Like we all have. So I just feel like it's valuable time to spend just like thinking about it. I read something the other day that said, I don't remember what it was, but basically this person, they try to spend five minutes every day alone with their thoughts. <laughs> and if you think about it, it's like, well, sure. But a lot of us, we spend so much time on our phone or you're dealing with kids or, or just work, whatever, or you've got the TV on. Like we tend to cook, we pop the TV on. It's just like what we do. I don't know, we just always done that. And I know we're not alone, like a lot of us have the office just playing on repeat in the background of our lives. <laughs> but it can be so valuable. Like even, this is gonna sound funny, but you're gonna know what I mean. Go to the bathroom without your phone and just sit there and think, okay? <laughs> it's amazing like how often we just bring the phone with us. And since that is one of my goals, just thinking about, you know, how can I find time in my day to really just be alone with my thoughts? Like when are those times I even possibly could, you know? And the bathroom is one of them. <laughs> Although sometimes I've got a three-year-old banging at the freaking door like, Mommy, come on, let me in. 
I just want five minutes of peace. I don't know what size this is, but this is adorable. Little like ginger, it's like a corduroy little jumper dress with little gingerbreads on it. That's so cute. I think anything above 12 months, I'm just kind of putting in a pile together because I don't need to know what I have above 12 months right this second. You know what I mean? I just, I really just need to know that first year, if you will. I love when it says the size small, medium. I'm like, that <laughs> tells me nothing. Okay, but once she got older, these were our prized possessions. These Carter's sleep sacks with the sleeves. She would wear, like when she was much younger, she'd wear a onesie underneath and then just put this on because it's a blanket and PJ's like in one. And eventually it would just be just this. And these, man, when these three that we owned or whatever were dirty, we were like, we gotta do laundry. Like they were so comfy to her. She would sleep so well in them. Another thing that I've been thinking about that <laughs> blows my mind and kind of freaks me out a bit. Think about this. It's been almost two years since the beginning of the pandemic. Does it feel like it's been two years? Like two years of your life. Like that's wild to think because that all feels like yesterday that it all began. And the fact that we've lived two years since then is crazy, right? She was one when it all began and now she is three and a half because she was like one and a half at that point, a little older. Cause then in June she turned two. So she had her second birthday. I think we just stayed at home. I mean, I'm sure we did at that point. And then her third birthday, I think we just had a little bit of family over. So she's had two birthdays that were just like different, you know, it's just crazy. Two years, you guys, does it feel like it's been two years? It's terrifying. Oh, also, I, w I have a question for you guys. Would you be interested in, I've seen some of my favorite like kind of chill vlog channels do these like fold laundry with me and just like chat about life. Now, obviously I'm not just folding, I'm, I'm trying to like read and it's hard for me to do both, but I'm trying. <laughs> but like, I think it could be fun to every once in a while just do a chat video, chatting about whatever and folding laundry together. Would that be weird? <laughs> I don't think it'd be weird. I've watched it and I like literally was like, I love this. <laughs> Cause it's just something we all do and there's something so weirdly comforting about like watching someone fold laundry and like just chat and I don't know, I know I'm a weirdo, okay, but I think some of you guys will agree. So I'm kind of interested in this because I saved a lot, but like I also didn't save a crazy amount. And I can't decide if that's great or terrible because you know, there's the part of me that's like, well, that's great because sometimes, you know, if you save a bunch of stuff that you're, you didn't even like the first time, are you gonna use it this time? Probably not. Especially like in this case, they were both girls. What's nice is too, because there is a couple year spread. I feel like there's a lot of new types of things. I mean, clothing doesn't change that much, but there's just a lot of new technology that has come out since then. So that it has been kind of nice to like buy a couple of new things for this. And you know, we are reusing most of the stuff we have. So it is nice to get a couple of fresh new things for the fresh new baby. It just adds to the excitement. But the good news is I have a lot more zero to three than I have newborn, which is great because the newborn stage is so fast. Like you will blink and it will be over with. So I'm gonna get this done here. I'm pretty much done. And I think I might like put away some of this back in the container I had because I'll know where to find it when I get like beyond the 12 month point. But then I'm also like, Honestly, I think I might have enough room in these closets to just like maybe get a different container, but put the bigger clothes in that so they're more easy to access because this would be in storage and it's a little harder to get to. I don't know. I'm going to have to think on that. Maybe it'll be a matter of getting these in the drawers and stuff and then looking at like, okay, how much space am I working with now? Like if I buy some more clothes, you know what I mean? So we'll, we'll kind of see. Oh my gosh, these are so tiny. How is she ever this small? Our good friends just had a baby and it's just wild because I'm like, he grew so fast. Now when we see him, I'm like, what? Like he was just a newborn and now he's not. Like he's just not, he's a baby. Like he's a girthy baby. I don't know, that's so weird. But you know what I mean? Like he's, when they're so small and newborn, they're just so delicate. Now he's like a strong little baby. So this is a good feeling. I really, newborn wise, I really just have a couple of cute outfits. I have some various brands of swaddles, as I showed you. I have this more like fleecy one from Halo. I have some, a couple of pants, some Gerber onesies. It's pretty much all you need right there, honestly. A couple of sleepers, and then I bought this new sleeper. This may have been one of the first things I bought for the baby. It might have been the first. Just cute little one. This is cool because it's a two-way zipper, and this is what I mean. Like, there's even clothing. There's like new technology that I swear to you I did not know existed. I've also looked at those freaking magnetic me like sleepers. Those are like $50 each. It's something ludicrous, but this is nice that there's a two-way zipper to like change a diaper just from the bottom, you know? But yeah, we'll see. One thing I definitely learned is that when they're this small, anything that goes over their head is a nightmare. Like anything, bonus points if anything zips up and also 
buttons are a nightmare. Like these, it's a cute outfit, but it has buttons. There's a part of me that's like, I think I'm just going to get rid of it. <laughs> like a couple buttons on the bottom is not a big deal, but it's when there are buttons all the way down. I'm like, I am not wasting my time doing that anymore because you're in the dark, like fumbling with buttons or like um, snaps. That's what I mean. Snaps. Absolutely not. So I feel like I've got enough. Like if I got no other clothes for this baby, we'd be fine. But I know, I know that we're obviously going to get some more stuff for her. And that's the kind of crazy thing about babies that I've learned too, is you just don't need very much. It's nice to have more, but you just don't need very much. So anyway, this is a good feeling. Now I feel like I know what I have. I might even literally, as dumb as this might sound, I might take a picture of what I have for newborn and zero to three and three to six. That way, if I'm like at the store and I'm like, wait, do we already have plenty of three to six month sleepers? I can quickly look at that picture and see like, okay, yeah, we're good or whatever. Have I seriously been talking that long? Okay, uh, I'm gonna go. I'll be back in a bit. <laughs> Sitting down because I've got like an hour left before I get to go pick her up and I cannot wait. <laughs> I, I cannot wait. I did get a call from her teacher, by the way, just telling me how she's been doing and she's been doing great. Like little bits of tears, but she's making friends and enjoying all the different activities they're doing. So whew, that is good. Anyway, I got some things in the mail, like organization things I wanted to share. These both I ordered from Amazon. This is the Made Smart brand, and I have some of these already in Genevieve's drawer. I'll show you what they look like in a second. But I use them to organize like some of her hair things, things like that. And I wanted some more because they work so well. And this one has different sizes. So there's like this size here. But then there's some of these smaller ones, which I thought might be nice for like little hair clips and stuff. I have some of them like in a bag and it, I don't know, it works, but it'd be kind of nice. The cool thing about these two is that they kind of snap together. Like you can kind of make them what you want and you can kind of get them to connect. So they're not just like sliding all over the drawer, which I think is cool, but they have some that are like this. So I also figured I might be able to use these in the nursery too for various things. We'll kind of see, but I also got, now these were pricey and I'm going to be honest, I might return them because I found something else. I kind of, I think I like better. And again, I'll show you that in a sec that fits in the drawers really well, but these are really cool. So then there's a part of me that's like, maybe I'll be able to use both. So they are these like drawer organizers. And if you see, you can literally expand them. And I kind of measured to make sure they'd be the right ones because there's different sizes, but they're literally just drawer dividers that you can use. And these are literally thicker or like taller. So if you have, you know, like normal size dresser drawers are kind of tall. So if you're using those like really short drawer dividers, it doesn't quite have the same effect if you're trying to put clothing in there that you want to stay separate from the rest of it, you know? So they look like this. Oh, okay. You can kind of get it to be the size you need in the drawer and then you shut that to lock it. And then again, it's like taller. So we're gonna go try this, let's go. Come on guys. All right, so this is a total work in progress here. Again, I threw some things in here when I was moving her into this room just cause I knew they'd be in here, but I didn't have anything to put them in. You know what I mean? This is what I mean though. These are the organizers. They look like this and they're so great cause you can kind of see everything. But since these drawers themselves are a little bit thinner than the other ones, it works really well. And there's like this little part on here that you can kind of clasp the other one into and then they're connected. Isn't that cool? So I think I'm gonna use some of those up here, but I wanna try this. So the reason I was thinking about returning them is I found these baskets at Target and they had various sizes and they're just kind of nice because they hold things together and they fit so well in this drawer. So that was one reason, but I kind of want to see because if these are a little bit easier and the reality is these leave like two, two and a half inches between where it ends and the back of the drawer. So there's space not being used there. Whereas with these, I could utilize the space all the way back. So we're going to try it. Get it to where I want it. Lock it down. Okay, that is awesome. That was so, so easy. I guess if I just took these out of here and just see how it looks. I also thought about like labeling these. Um, yeah, this can fit all the way to the back, which is really nice. Putting like a clear label with my label maker for like what each thing is. Just because like there are a few times that a grandparent might be here putting laundry away because they're so sweet and they sometimes do that. But also like my husband, I'm usually the one that's putting the laundry away, but sometimes he is. And he's like, I don't know what kind of, you know, which goes where. And I am not super particular, but I do have a system. So let's try putting another one in. And the other nice thing is like, even the way I'm organizing it here, 
This only takes up two of these. Whereas with the bin system, I'm using three of them in a drawer. You know what I mean? Oh my gosh. And there's like breathing room. So that's really nice. So maybe I won't return them. Maybe I'll just do a mix of these and the things because these also fit really well in the nursery drawers so it could be just some things will lend themselves better to one versus the other but oh my gosh these are amazing so you can get i got i think an eight pack which like i said got really pricey but these are so gonna be so useful for so many years and you can reuse them in so many different ways that it might just be really nice so that is amazing really glad i bought those so i'm also getting some work done here this last little bit of time that i have which is great so i was uploading some footage for my editor the next video she's working on and kind of getting some screenshots of certain products that she can use like in the video you know and then answering some emails so i think with the time I have left, now it's like 45 minutes, I think I'm going to uh, try to make a thumbnail for a video that's going live later this week and get like the links and stuff for the, for the description box. I thought about working out, <laughs> I don't really feel like it. I don't think I'm gonna do that. I, we might too, like go on a walk later, like once we get her and once Tyler's back and we, Pinocchio of course is here. Just cause we've been trying to do that way more often. I'm typing in just the words description box to Google as though that's going to create my description box for me. Focus Jessica. No, we need to edit a thumbnail first. Anyway, um, but just going on walks like way more often, I feel like is so beneficial to all of us. So that's definitely something that we might try to do today. Although it is freaking cold being January in the Midwest. So I think I'll let you guys go here just because we're about wrapping up the day. I feel like it was pretty productive. Like we got some grocery stuff, shared that with you guys. We went through the baby stuff and there's still like toy baby stuff to go through. That's a project I don't mind piecing into multiple days just because it's not, I mean, I'm due in a few months. I've got a little bit of time. It's not crazy pressing and you know toys are the least of my concerns i'm more concerned about making sure we have like the necessities we need <laughs> anyway so that will be good getting those organizers was huge because i've been kind of i'd gotten some of the drawers done like in her room but until i got those in the mail i was like i'm kind of at a standstill until i know what route i want to go so i'm really excited to have those now i feel like once i get hers a handle on her room i can really focus it on the nursery and getting that done. Also, I'm having like heartburn. I had for lunch today, it was like a grilled cheese sandwich and tomato soup from a restaurant and it was leftover. And it was really nice because I'd, it was like a artisan grilled cheese, you know, and the waiter, they had mushrooms on it. And that's one of the few things that I'm just not a big fan of. So I was like, is there any way I can get it without mushrooms? He was like, sure. So when it got brought out, it still had mushrooms, but I'm gonna be honest, it looked really good. So I tried it and I was like, okay, this is really good with mushrooms. So I ended up eating and I'm like halfway through it and the waiter was like, I am so sorry. And he had brought me a new one that was like without mushrooms. And I'm like, oh, honestly, I'm really, <laughs> I'm actually really liking it. So you really didn't have to do that. That was really nice, thank you. He was like, well, we can box it up for you before you go and you can take the other one home. I'm like, all right. I'm like, especially if you were gonna like throw it away or something. So he did, he boxed that up at the end and he gave me another thing of like fresh tomato soup to take home. So I was like, well, there's lunch tomorrow. And it was. <laughs> anyway, but that, all of that to say, I've got heartburn, so I need to take some Tums too. That is definitely something I don't get often not being pregnant. You know what I mean? I'm sure I have a feeling as I get older, I'll just be getting heartburn all the time, but need to go take a Tums. But yeah, anyway, long story short, gonna let you guys go here. I hope it was fun to watch this vlog. I love doing these from time to time with you guys and just giving you a glimpse into what I'm doing around the house or doing in life, whatever. Yeah, so thank you again to Thrive Market for sponsoring a portion of this video as well. Again, if you want to try it out, I'll have the link down below. It is thrivemarket.com slash Jessica Braun. And again, you can get 40% off your first order and a free gift with that. So great time to join. But other than that, I hope you'll subscribe, stick around. I'll link my vlogs playlist if you want to watch more of the vlogs I've done that are like this in the past. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.